It is a city that makes us incredibly welcome at this very historic show. A brilliant round there. So cool under pressure. That was class. Looking forward to more class performances here in Hamburg as you join us for the Global Champions League. This is where the teams come into uh, action here. Leg six of 19. Blue skies up above. And uh, who will be the one to bring the ray of sunshine here? New York Empire, zero score after round one. Miami Celtic, zero score after round one. Madrid in motion on four. Long list of teams on the four there, including Berlin Eagles, Monaco Aces, San Tropez Pirates, and the home team as well, the uh, Hamburg Giants. So let's, uh, Frederick Tabaka, take a look around as uh, what we've got. We start on this Oxford that takes us around the Derby wall and then the second fence is already quite tricky. It is the Ide Cafe Oxford. It's wide, it's high, but especially the colour and the design of the rails makes it very difficult. Again, a long gallop up to uh, the fence three, the vertical of uh, the Global Champions playoffs. That leads on a six-stranded approach into the combination. We haven't seen many faults in that combination. Down to the lowest point of the arena and back up to uh, Global Champions once again around the Derby fence. And then we cross the arena. Right in the center, in the heart, stands the light tower. A 160 high vertical that you need to jump on an angle in order to be competitive, in order to keep a fast time. And then all the way to the other side once again. Keep on galloping to fence seven. Fence eight is one of the trickiest fences. A vertical with the Liverpool in front, right by um, the open water, right by another derby fence, and the opening to a related distance into the combination of vertical and oxer. When you of oxer and vertical, if you jump out of that combination, you're already a long way. Then there's three fences to jump. It is the blue oxer of Deutsche Kreditbank on um, uh, oh, somewhat of 10 strides to the plank of the lighthouse and then seven, eight, we've seen even nine up to fence 12. That is a very, very wide oxer to finish off. It's a wide oxer up the hill of Global Champions League. And exactly that is um, the order of the fences in this second round of Global Champions League. Ben Mayer, the man of the moment oh. in 2018, is trying to do some very special work again in this year. Ooh, that's a strong rub there from Concona. There's a fairly young mare, nine years old, by Contargos. She's young, she hasn't got all the experience, but without a doubt, one of the best nine-year-olds in the world. Nine strides to the plank. And he can really ride it deep, and still she's so quick in her legs, and still she's clear. Yeah. What a great appearance here for this uh, Concona. 83.57, slides inside the time. There's uh, other team member, Emily Moffat. She produced a nice clear out a little earlier as well. So clear for Ben Mayer and Concona. Keeps the London Knights on a score of eight. That would leave them ahead at the moment. But no team yet has not added to their score. Pressure will come on Philip Arts, who goes second for the Knights. Ben Mayer, though, as ever, cometh the hour, produces the goods. Come on. There Qu we go. Quickly looking at the results. So the Knights are on eggs on 12 mm. in 160.43 seconds. In case of a fault, Olivier um, Philippe Philippe Arts has got to go fast. He has to finish in uh, 76. 76 something, 76 and a half. That is fast. That is fast. Bear in mind, the fastest time we've seen around here so far. Well, 72.95 is leading at the moment. Bosti was around in 74 yeah, something. But that it's was possible, but that was from that a different was in world. Different world. It was the individuals going for a spin as well. Olivier Philippartz then, and 10 year old HM Extra by Berlin. Another one of those that was on the team again last year. Now he jumped double clear with his horse in Mexico on the turf there. The Mexico experience may well be at home here in Hamburg. Good jumping from Philippe Bart, very confident up to Ide Café. Now with great support to global champions. Lengthens up to six, up to the lighthouse. An extra is in great form. He was jumping outstanding last weekend, outstanding earlier on. And now again, it looks like the horse 
is in the prime of its career. Yeah. Vertical of Oliva Nova. Lots of control into the double. And he's through the toughest part, Steve. And it feels that the time is good as well. Even good to be competitive with the other teams on eight. Here come the Knights with Filiparts on the clear. He's going to be round about 80 seconds. Something good close job. to that. And 80.17, 163.74 uh, final time. It was a touch slower than Scandinavian Vikings, but the important part is it was two clears this time around for the London Knights. They were only one fence apiece down in the first round, but they stay on a score of eight and put themselves in a strong position to see where they will come out in the uh, final well result of this. London Knights unlikely to win it, but... And the first team to jump two clears in this uh, second yep. round. So sweet them and Fredrickson this time and so they teamed up in Mexico and Miami together and in fact they uh, was ran the round in Mexico where they were a winning combination they had Daniel Deusser in amongst that group as well it just shows the strength of uh, this team the depth of this team both in horses and riders with Pius Schwitzer oh, there's a dog on the field with Pius Schwitzer as um, the most as also a, a rider who produced a winning round for the Shanghai Swan, so they've got five riders already that contributed to top results. So that is uh, very impressive. Now Sweetner. Over the vertical with Alejandro by Agorados As. And continue. Continue, who was also the damn sire of Balou Drouet and Balou Dreventon of Derek Henny. And Sweetnam with a very solid clear, a little bit deep, getting strong, but then good recovery and a fast time as well, Steve. 75 7 4. Absolutely, we'll leave him well up there individually, but say it gives a good one for the Shanghai Swans to come back at the London Knights. This is going to be a battle between those two because Shane Sweetnam is quicker than uh, Ben Mayer and Olivier Philipparts where they were both around about 80 plus seconds. So that's quite a bit of time difference. This is where the Swans could just edge that place over the London Knights so far. Good positioning from them. And Shane Sweetnam has seen that strategy that they need. They needed pace if they're gonna keep themselves ahead. Otherwise they were gonna slip a spot or even more. So basically still in time will be fast enough but no extra rails for Fredrickson and H&M all in. That's a no-go. Two fences left. The Plank and Global Champions League, the Oxer up the hill. Oh, that's even nine strides and a beautiful setup from Peter Fredrickson and H&M all in. It is uh, good enough, 155.47, so they stay ahead of uh, the Vikings and drop to second the first time yeah. that a team drops a spot in other words, the Knights climb a spot. But leaves the way open for likes of Paris Panthers. Seventh place overnight on a score of four. So just one fence off those two leading teams. Remind you of those Miami Celtics and New York Empire. We're into the teams on a score of four now. There's team manager Rob Herkstra. Harry Smolders in the background as well. Trainer of Jane Gates. Her first appearance on the team here in Hamburg. First appearance of the season. She jumped round for just four faults with Capital Colnar. Though teams up with Nile Nasser. You jump clear with Lucifer. Now the pressure on her, and, and day one is a one thing. Day two is a different one, Frederick. Yeah, because now it's about the places. And uh, that one is gone on the back rail of the first fence. And Jennifer Gates with Captain Colnado and the Paris Panthers sit on a score of eight. Same like the London Knights. The Knights with a total time of 163.74. This is only the first rider to go for uh, the Paris Panthers in this second round. Lovely approach to, oh, to the plank. And now keeps it on the four, but the time is not very competitive, 82.67. 
if Niall finishes around and about 79, 78 seconds, the Panthers can stay ahead of uh, the London Knights. Even 80 seconds will do, so there is, the door is open for the Panthers. And like you say, Steve, this is a fast couple. A little bit deep to Deutsche Kreditbank. Got a beautiful shape over that Oxer. And Nail Nassar, with a difficult start, stayed very cool, well concentrated. And, he's be fast. and he brought it. Yeah. And they are, yes, ahead of the Knights. Yeah. 82.67 was uh, the first time added into that. Uh, the uh, time there of Nail Nassar, 78.55, means the Paris Panthers move ahead of the London Knights by just around two seconds, two seconds and a bit. So the Paris Panthers with that four and the clear finish on a score of eight and just stop the London Knights gaining a bit more ground. Well, it's actually the fourth double clear, one from Alman, one from Margie Engel, one from Bartles and now one from Niall Nassar. And Olivier Robert, let's say second in the championship. He goes first for the Pirates and then Peter DeVos goes second. They were the winning team last year here in Hamburg and it was uh, Peter DeVos and Laura Klaubhacker then teaming up. Now it is France and Belgium. They're in sixth place overnight. And off. Olivier Robert, Vivaldi. Um, a score of four from round one. And Robert, you can hear him talk to Vivaldi, a 10-year-old by Chippendale and Bamako de Muse, to relax and calm down ahead of the double. Like many French, he rides this horse without a martingale. The French horses like to carry their head a little bit higher. It's going to be mid to late 70s, I would say. Yeah, no, no. Maybe even it's going to be even in the 80s. But he's going to get there unclear, and the time yeah. will work. 80.83, and it is clear for the Saint Tropez Pirates. Say, so looking to great ground on the Swans. The more gap they can put between those two teams, the better. So, Saint Tropez Pirates staying on the four. Shanghai Swans down in fourth place on a score of 12. Peter DeVos, Claire Z has produced those already, as we know. He produced a clear in Miami where they finished second place there. Best finish so far for the Saint Tropez Pirates. But they've consistently been up there, two fourths, a sixth, twelfth in Madrid where they Ooh. fell back surprisingly. Didn't get any shape over the vertical. And like you say, Steve, any ride from now is a ride for the podium. Look at how angled he approaches this vertical. He's not moving quickly, but he's running quite efficient around the turns. He just needs a clear. It's a little slow around here, and again there's somebody of the ground crew. I nearly got into De Vos's way. Last line, De Vos and Claire. Deutsche Kreditbank on an angle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Digs her feet into the ground and takes off, sets her up on the hind leg, goes in for the double clear and brings the double clear to uh, the Pirates. Puts them ahead, puts them on the four and time 161.08. It's pretty fast, but when you consider Shanghai Swans so running 153.47, yeah. there is plenty of room in there for uh, one of those other three teams to get it. Steers up to the lighthouse. Around the turn, Olivanova, vertical, out of the way for the score. The same score as the Central Bay Pirates. They produced a double clear in this second round. The 
necessity for the Berlin Eagles. Two fences left for Marlin Bayard Jonsson and H&M Indiana in this second round in Hamburg. Jumps the plank in her own way, in her own style. Sets her up for the Oxer and clears it easily. And again, the time around that 80 point, 80 and a half seconds. It is 80.5 yeah. for Marlin or 80.7 for Marlin. So all of that same speed, that same trajectory, those same strides. Great management from Beerbaum with this horse. The star horse of the moment. Combination is gone. Uh. Combination is gone. And the team moves up to a score of eight, like the Panthers and the Knights. And if Beerbaum duplicates the time of Mali Bayard Johnson, they would stay ahead. Yeah, it's sort of Panthers. touch and go. But Let's see. every second's counting now. Every split second is slower. He's slower, Steve. Yeah. It's 80. It's 162.84. Scored. Third. Yeah, it goes to the third. Score of eight there. 162.84. Paris Panthers round 161.22. And uh, so they nudge ahead. Santra Pay Pirates staying on the four to keep in front of last year's winners. Back in the driving seat, as we said. And it's uh, Mark McCauley, Jasko van der Bishop, and teammate up there, Michael G. Duffy, watching. But in fact, it's going to be Eduardo Avaritathna oh. to come onto the team with that rock fella. Mark McCauley makes the transfer instead of Michael G. Duffy today. The team on a score of four. Two clears. And they've got to be faster than 161.08. Jasko with nearly a handstand over those Oxers. Mark wants him settle down and the first man in in the second round for Madrid in motion is three fences away two fences away from a clear he's a little bit at the slow side Steve but he is clear yeah. and he's, he's outside he's the outside time he's got a time, time fault 85-5-2 it's one for time and that could be incredibly expensive with Pirates, it's a little bit of a high five between them because they know they They're will the stay podium. ahead. They're definitely on the podium. We could say proves costly, but it would have been slower. Painful. But regardless, even if he'd been a second quicker, the Santa Fe Pirates are rounded. His teammate would have had to go on absolutely lightning fast. Ooh. Still a solid round, it doesn't drop them too far, but Madrid in motion, one time for there. As you see, a hug, they're going to be on the podium. Good jumping from Rockefeller, consistent, reliable. But the plank no. is gone, and Rockefeller lost ground there in the landing, and now they're on that, nine in the that podium. That drops them a lot. Ooh. That drops them a lot. What is that, fifth now? They go yep. down to fifth place, yes. They go uh, with that score down to fifth with the four added to it, nine. And that one time fault makes the difference because Paris Panthers stay in second on the ace, Berlin Eagles third on the ace. London Knights fourth on the ace, Sandra Pay Pirates on the four will stay ahead. So the five this time for Madrid in motion shifts them well and truly off the podium. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Here you have to say the Celtics have got to go for the double clear and, and see what and happens. And not for the time. Yeah. And, and maybe settle for second place, but put the pressure on the New York Empire. Who knows? Yep. Whitaker's on track. Cadeau de Muse. into that combination ah. and it's gone it is gone for the Miami Celtics it's now a score of four the same score as the Pirates now William has been pretty economical with his his lines here so far he's been smart with those all the way around he's gonna probably again be around about 80 seconds or just over it'll be just over that it's a nice round, but finishes on the four, 82.06. And so finishes on the four there, Michael Duffy, team member, alongside him. One fence down, though, then for the Miami Celtics. Santra Pay Pirates back in the driving seat, because if we split the time of the Pirates, 161.08. William Whittaker there, 82.06. Shane Breen needs to be round in around about 79 to still be faster. And keep it on a clear. Yeah. Because if Shane has a fault, they come on to a score of eight. Then we're talking Paris Panthers, Berlin Eagles, London Knights even. Frustration there, Michael yeah. Duffy oh. watching. 
Saint-Tropez Pirates watching on the sidelines. Got to be back-to-back -back wins for them here in Hamburg. Shane Breen, it's got to be a clear and it's got to be faster. It's now going to be around about 79 seconds or better for this pair that won the Monaco Grand Prix last year. Pushing to get into the combination. It feels like he's riding for second place now. <coughs> second place would be a medal and it would be a short yeah. off at least a spot on the podium. Shane Breen, like we said, not for those 79 seconds, not for the top spot, but at least for second place. Yeah. There yep. we go, clear 83, That's uh, what 86, and uh, as you say, puts them behind saint Pay Pirates. But bear in mind, in terms of the overall championship, Monaco Aces and Miami Celtics, third and fourth. Celtics are in fourth, but they're both on the same score of 87 in terms of the championship. So could well see the uh, Celtics moving up a spot here. In fact, it will almost definitely see them moving up a spot. New York Empire, though, looking to continue that recovery. Remember, they had a superb finish. They finished second in Madrid just two weeks ago after two eliminations in the lineup they've been 11th in the championship and they're very quickly trying to climb themselves back into it this horse jumped a fantastic first round like Steve Hadley would say fit as a butcher's dog <laughs> in great form and great shape senator a horse that got all the time for, from Scott to develop to grow to mature and this year the two thousand oh it's gone Steve it is gone, and now they are on the same score as the Pirates and the Celtics, and it'll be about the time. And Scott Bresch, is he speeding up, or is he counting on the speedy round of his teammate, of Hansi Dreher? He's and he's drifting here. Bresch, not too slow, to be honest. But we'll see. But not he isn't with the fast either. Time. No, I say not with the fastest times we've seen. Oh, it's be oh, oh, it's no. gone. Eight. The Pirates win. So the Pirates win it. It is going to be four to add to the score. Whatever happens, New York Empire will grow in score and they will go up to eight. It is two down there. The New York Empire just, I'm afraid, two down from Brash. Puts them out of the running, drops them down to third place at the moment. They could go all the way down to what, fifth, sixth. Blue skies here in Hamburg. Let's see saint Pay Pirates on the four in the end to be our winners for the second year in a row. Miami Celtics, they're finishing on just the four to go into second place. Keep the nose ahead of the Paris Panthers who also finish on the podium. Here I am with the Central Bay Pirates boys. Congratulations, big win here in uh, Hamburg. And once again, as the Pirates in Hamburg, just like last year, Olivier, you've got the best man to guide you through Hamburg, haven't you? Yeah, I think that was a wonderful afternoon and I'm so happy to be with Peter this afternoon and uh, during all this year. You're a new man on the league, you're a new uh, face on the team, but you did contribute brilliantly with, with a fantastic mare, we have to say. Yeah, with a new horse uh, that was not supposed to be Vivaldi, uh, that was supposed Van Gogh uh, this afternoon. So I'm so happy he did the job and a uh, very good afternoon for us. On the other hand, Peter, we also have to say, um, Olivier, he set you up brilliantly. It was a, it was a great assist because all you had to do is finish it off. Yeah, it was it was very easy. <laughs> no, um, I'm very happy with my new teammate, Olivier. He's uh, in our team since this year, and it's the second time he rides for the Central Bay Pirates. And uh, yeah, second time, and we 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 win, so it's uh, it's it's great. It's a fantastic venue here, a very nice crowd, and uh, it's great to win here as a team. Um, you're always doing good in Germany, so shall we already put you down for Berlin? Last year, we, I think last year we won in uh, Berlin, so, but we keep with the feet on the ground and uh, we'll see in two months. All right, on the championship, five points behind the Shanghai Swans. Um, you're getting close, you're nearly there, you want to be in top spot. A few points left to go. Yeah, a few points, but uh, it's so difficult to be uh, all the, the way along, but very happy already this afternoon. All right, boys, congratulations, celebrate the win, see you next time. <laughs> Kids getting out of the way, yeah. they very quickly run in, give them the champagne, there we go. <laughs> oh, Jen Ferry, the bunch of the brunt of that one. Oh, come on. She can't get the top off the bottle. Oh, it won't come is, out. Is that her first podium? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to have some champagne lessons. Yeah, we, we're going to yeah. give her a tutorial. Exactly. The league is still led by Shanghai Swans, but their lead is reduced to five points on Saint-Tropez Pirates. 
Miami Celtics are third. Next stop for the Global Champions League in Cannes for round seven, down at the French Riviera.